So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos, it really is appreciated. If you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So George Groves finally becomes a world champion in his 4th attempt after he stops Fedor Tudinov in the 6th round to pick up the vacant WBA Super Middleweight Championship. And this was a very good fight. I thought because it was very action packed from the first bell and Fedor Tudinov has a very methodical style like he always has this kind of style but it's very effective like what he does is very basic but he's a very strong guy Fedor Tudinov and he can put guys on the back foot like he did with George Groves tonight George Groves fought the majority of this fight on his back foot and Fedor Trudinov was the one who was backing him up and stuff like that against the ropes, trying to get his own shots off. But George Groves was counter punching very well tonight. There was a head clash, I think it was in the third, maybe the fourth round. There was a head clash, and George Groves had a cut on his eye. But George Groves managed to weather the storms and stuff like this. I think the experiences of the Carl Frotch fights and the Badu Jack fights, like even the James DeGale fight, like George Groves has been in some tough fights in his career. And I think the experience of them fights, like he was just not going to be denied tonight. He knew that he could beat Fedor Tudinov. And like he said, after the fight, he would have just kept on going until they kicked him out of the ring. Like George Groves was very focused tonight and he had one goal in mind and that was to become world champion. Because he knew with a loss tonight, his career was pretty much done. Because I didn't see him getting another world title attempt. But he managed to pull it out of the bag. Managed to dominate Fedor Tudinov in the sixth round, hit him with a hard shot that really hurt Fedor Tudinov, and he nearly got him out of there. Fedor Tudinov managed to hang on, and then George Groves came at him again, landed a huge barrage of shots, and the referee stopped, stepped in, and George Groves finally becomes a world champion, and he was very emotional after the fight. George Groves, because he's been through a lot, like that guy's been in some low places in his career. Obviously getting knocked out in front of 80,000 people at Wembley Stadium must have been a massive confidence knocker for George Groves. And the first fight with Carl Frotch, with him coming so close to picking up two world titles for him to get controversially stopped in the ninth round. And then again in Vegas, getting knocked out early by Badu Jack and then managing to rally on and losing on a tight split decision. Uh, George Groves has had some really hard fights, some really unlucky performances, but it's all led to this moment tonight when he becomes WBA super middleweight champion. And there's big fights out there now for George Groves. He's looking probably for a unification bout with James DeGale or the winner of Callum Smith, Anthony Durrell. I think the James DeGale fight is the biggest fight for George Groves out there. The rematch between him and James DeGale is a very big fight. Obviously, both men have a bit of rivalry with each other that stems back from the amateurs. And the rematch for them two would just be a massive fight. And both men would get a big payday and two belts on the line. Like That would be a very big fight. But obviously, people are just going to let George Groves enjoy his moment tonight because he's worked so hard for this George Groves. He's been a professional for, what, nine years now? And them nine years have just flew by. George Groves doesn't seem to be around for as long as he has been, but he has been. He's been around for almost 10 years now, George Groves. But he's had to wait long, he's had to be patient, and he finally pulled it out of the bag tonight. Very good performance by George Groves. And, yeah, comment below in the comment section what you think it is. Who do you think George Groves should fight against next? So, yeah, comment below in the comment section.